Hi, this is Ross at uh, SDS. Today we're just going to do a short video on uh, showing you some of the parameters of the uh, aircraft programmer. And uh, we've got a dual ECU hooked up here so you can see how that works. Okay, this is gauge one on the primary computer, master computer. And I'll just show you how we switch to the uh, backup to access that. It's a separate toggle switch uh, which is panel mounted. We just uh, flick that the other way. You'll see it showed that that was on the backup. Then you can program the backup or observe uh, the parameters there in the gauge modes. And we'll just go back to the uh, master computer primary here. This is gauge one mode. This shows you manifold pressure, RPM, engine temperature, and uh, intake air temperature. If we use the right arrow button here, we can scroll. Gauge 2 shows you the mixture knob position, injector duty cycle, acceleration pump, and ignition timing. Gauge 3, battery voltage, throttle position, oxygen sensor air fuel ratio, and barometric pressure. And finally, gauge 4. This is the uh, probably the gauge we use the the most during tuning. This displays the things you'd most normally want to see all together in one place. So we've got manifold pressure, RPM, ignition timing, and uh, air fuel ratio. Okay, if we want to get into the programming parameters, we'll press the gauge button once. It takes us back to gauge one, and uh, we'll use the fast scroll, a double arrow button here. This moves 20 frames at a time, can get you back uh, a little quicker to where you want to be. So this is uh, RPM 750, and uh, the 180 is the amount of fuel, so that's what we're going to be changing here. If we wanted to make it uh, richer here, we'd use the plus 1 or plus 10 button. You can see that change. Basically what we're doing is, uh, when we're ground running initially, we would use the uh, wideband oxygen sensor to tell us what the air-fuel ratio was. In gauge mode, we come back into here. We'd uh, program wherever we want to. So if it was uh, too rich at 1300 RPM, we would uh, decrement that. Observe our air-fuel ratio either through data logging or just directly and uh, just change that to uh, whatever we need to make the air-fuel ratio correct. If we uh, move to the left here some more, we've got the manifold pressure values, and generally we don't uh, change those very much. You'll notice here that as we scroll through the values here, there's 64 of them. So you can see these generally go up by two as we increase manifold pressure. That gives us a linear progression, so if we were to graph these values, you'd see that uh, it's a straight line progression. That's generally what we want for manifold pressure. So these are the two main programming parameters. Of course, there's other things here for cold start, uh, warm-up enrichment, things like that. But these are just the basics, and we generally work on the RPM fuel values, as I said before. They're the main things we change. We've got everything else fairly well pre-mapped, of course. Every engine is a bit different. You'll probably have to change some things. And if we move further to the left, we've got the engine temperature values on the air-cooled engines. This is uh, cylinder head temperature. And this is used for warm-up enrichment primarily after the engine starts. We've got the uh, temperature here and the value here. And again, if it was too lean and maybe stumbling while it was warming up, we would just uh, increase this value using the plus or minus buttons here. You can see that? That will add more fuel at this temperature. And we've got uh, 32 of these temperatures. You'll see as it gets colder, we add more fuel, of course. And once the engine's fully warmed up, we'll 
we'll say that's here at 176 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't add any more fuel. The engine doesn't need any more enrichment at that point. And here's uh, ignition timing. This is pretty self-explanatory. Call up the RPM range that you want to program at. We'll say 2300 RPM. We have 20 degrees here now. If we wanted uh, 25, we just increment that with the plus buttons here. 25 degrees. And uh, if you want less, of course, you just hit the minus buttons. These are the start values. These just control how much enrichment goes in during cranking. So at 203 degrees Fahrenheit, we don't need any enrichment, so the value is zero. Say at 52 here, we've got 120 in here. So this just adds fuel during about the first three to five seconds of cranking and the initial startup as it transitions. Then it goes on to the engine temp values for the rest of the warm up period. Here's magnet position, and this is the parameter you set initially with the timing light. We want to verify that the timing's where it says it is in the computer, and uh, we can just change this again, plus or minus. The default is 90 on Lycoming engines, and if you have a, a dual hall sensor, you'll find that one computer will be timed at perhaps 86 and the other one at 93. The single hall sensor, usually they'll be pretty close to 90. And that's just a one time setup. Once you've done that, whatever you have in the programmer for ignition timing, that will be correct. And uh, you can just enter what you want directly. And that's about it for the major parameters. Of course, there's many other things we can do here, but we need to keep these uh, videos kind of on mark so people can uh, find the information they want. And we'll be doing uh, more of these uh, in the aircraft hopefully next week and show you uh, kind of the whole tuning process involved there. So this video is just kind of an initial introduction to the programmer and uh, the parameters and what they basically do and we'll be doing more in the aircraft uh, hopefully next week if we get uh, time here and show you how the tuning process works on the ground. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.